Hello guys, welcome back in OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and in this video we are going to learn how Oracle DML statement is flowing in this particular architecture. So today we are going to take example of the update command. Suppose we have a lot of employees and we just want to update a salary of a particular employee. So guys, we have a one table here which is the employees table. Okay, and the in the employees table we have a one employee which is employee ID is a 108 and existing salary has a old salary is equals to 5500 okay so here's the current salary is a 5500 and we just want to update his salary from 5500 to 6500 so we just run the following command update employees set salary 6500 where is the employee id 108 so let's see how that particular statement is flowing in the database architecture we are assuming here that uh, the parsing is completed because we already discussed the parsing in the previous video i will put the link in video description or you can find the video in the i button so let's continue user process server process and shade pool where is the sql area and uh, it will be executed so once the query is executed the database buffer cache has a lot of uh, old block and new block values here suppose the query is executed and what happening the next the server process goes into the data files and find that particular record which is against the 108 employee id in the employees table and take a copy of that particular block into the database buffer cache and as well as that particular block copy is goes into the undo section okay so what happening in the next suppose the employee has old salary is a which is the 5500 so 5500 block is here and you just recently update the 5500 into the 6500 so the block is converted into the 6500 after that the particular values goes into the redolog buffer cache and the redolog buffer cache how it is flowing like this is the employee id is a 108 and old salary is a 5500 and what is the new salary new salary is a 6500 like kind of this type of values is storing in the redo log buffer cache in the redo entries with the table name and employee id eid with these all details the entry will come into the redo log buffer cache and the redo log buffer cache what it's doing the next now user has a two choice commit or rollback if user performing the rollback then all the changes will revert back nothing will change if user perform the commit then what happening the in the redo log buffer cache there is a three conditions whether it is one third full or every three second and after commit it will be send that data into into the redo log files with the help of log writer so what happening the once the user is committed the changes the log writer will take that particular entry from the redolog buffer cache and write it into the redolog files okay and same as that there is a some switch log happening if your database is in archive mode that particular entry goes into the archives this is the optional part so let's see what happening the next when log writer work is completed the log writer will signal to the checkpoint checkpoint is updating the same information into the control file and data file header with the current SCN number. Each modification has its SCN number, which is the system change number, so that the system can identify the particular entry and time and other details of the transactions. So once the checkpoint is updated the information into the control file and data file header, then checkpoint is signaling to the database writer and what is the database writer doing? The database writer take the 6500 value block from the database buffer cache and write that particular block into the data file once the database writer is write that particular block into the data file then the value is permanently saved and old value which is still exist into the undo that will be finished i forget to tell you one thing that once the user is performing the update statement there is a one 
row level lock is automatically apply applicable on that particular row that means the no other user can change on that particular block on the same time till the current user is committed or roll back the values once the user is committed and all the modification has been changed the row level lock is automatically removed and once that process is completed the server process is written back the information to the user process that commit is completed i hope you understand that thing how update statement is flowing in this database architecture if you still have any doubt please write in the comment box i will get back to you as soon as possible and reply back to you you can join our official telegram group just find the link in the video description thanks for watching see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye